Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. It's a Daily Prophetic Word for Thursday, the 26th of December 2019 is Separate Yourself. Separate yourself from the institutions you call church, from the false teachers you follow, and from the temptations of the world. You are still focused on your careers, on worldly honors and degrees, on riches and false doctrines. You burn my holiness in the fire of your tolerance. Separate yourself. Now the time has come to separate my sheep from the goats. The goats will never hear my voice and will remain in the world. But my sheep know my voice and they will come out of the world and enter the narrow gate that will lead to eternal life. Separate yourself. The new Pharaoh, Antichrist, is rising and will take over the whole world. Now is the time to walk out in the great exodus and walk towards my holy mountain, Mount Zion. You are my sheep and you hear my calling. Come together as a great family and walk out of Babylon. I came to set you free. Now listen to my voice. And this was a daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit for Thursday, the 26th of December 2019. Separate yourself. We are in a similar situation than the first church was. The first church was facing persecution from Nero and the Romans. And now we are going into a time where we will face persecution from Antichrist and the false prophet. So what has the first church done to avoid this? They made home churches. They separated themselves as much as possible from the system of the old days. And they came together in love, unity and support and they shared their resources. They sold excess and laid it at the apostles' feet so that everybody who had need could receive something that nobody had luck, and they had all in common and everything in one accord. This is required if you want to survive now the onslaught of the Antichrist and the false prophet. We have to separate ourselves too, come together in the dwelling places of Zion, the home churches, to restore the altar of the old times. That includes also the restoration of the church of the book of Acts. We all are equal and we all have to stay humble. Even the elders that will be set in, on top of every home church will not be special. There will be never be an elite. They will all will be equal. The elders are the same people as the members of the home churches. We are all equal. There is nobody is elevated in front of the, the Lord. We are all the sons and daughters of the Most High, and we are all church, and we are all supernatural, and we are all the little G-Gods, because the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they have created us in Genesis, in their image. And if they have created us in their image, then we are heirs, heirs to the kingdom, and co-heirs with Jesus Christ. Not the king, not the coming king, but princes and princesses. We are heirs to the kingdom. We are the church. We are part of the heavenly kingdom. And if you read the Bible, it is said that we will judge angels. That makes us definitely heirs of the kingdom. Now people understand that you cannot survive and cannot do what you have done before in your old ways when the Antichrist is here. And he is already here. He is here. He is already planning his move and walking forward. We are in the sealed tribulation now. 
this is your last call to get your back and come out of the world and out of Babylon. Your last call to separate yourself. Because as soon as the Antichrist will catch you and will get you in his hand because of your career or because of your houses or your mortgages or your insurances or your car's license that you have to pay or anything you want to buy or sell, then he will ask you to take his mark. And if you do not take his mark, you will be killed. So it's time now to separate ourselves and to decide, like the people did on Mount Carmel with, with Elijah, to decide now to stand with the Lord completely and to separate ourselves from the world and from Babylon. The time of Elijah, they separated themselves from Jezebel and from Ahab and stand with the only living God. And they saw miracles, fire coming from heaven. And the altar was restored to its former glory. And this is the time now that we have to do also. The spirit of Elijah is with us already. And very soon the spirit of Jesus is coming for his bride to make a wedding so that we can all be close to him, be one with him. We abide in him and he abide in us. And he will command us and we will follow like a true bride is doing. But we will be equal. Nobody will rule over us. Equality, humility, true Christianity, true church, not the fake churches we see today. Thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word. And I hope it helped you on this Boxing Day. Think about it. How can you come out of the world? And I hope I will see you again tomorrow for the next teaching. I love you all so dearly. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.